What's up guys? Today we've got a special treat here. We have a package from China and I'm going to open it up and unbox whatever's in here for you. Well, if you're looking at the YouTube title, you probably know already what this is. So let's, uh, let's just uh, get to it. Just be careful not to take my finger off. Okay. So let's have a look inside here. Got some packaging. Nicely bubble wrapped. Yeah, nothing else in here. Yep, guys, it's the Miu Mini Plus, the new model. Sports external uh, micro SD card, battery life seven to eight hours, 3.5 inch IPS screen, uh, 3000 milliamp battery, Wi Fi. It's all good. I'll just put that here for now. So on the package, um, there was this little label. So if you're buying this from uh, AliExpress like me, uh, what they do is they declare it as $25. So hopefully that's going to help you uh, get past the customs as well. So you uh, don't get overcharged on the on your side and you don't get charged any taxes, which is nice of me to do uh, because sometimes uh, they declare the packages and you, you get charged more money. Anyway, so this is the Miu Money Plus. Um, let's find out what color I've got. Okay, so they give you the 64 gigabyte SD card. Uh, there's some instructions in Chinese, it looks like. Hopefully it's got it in English as well. Yeah, it's got it in, in English as well, yeah. Uh, and then we've got our Miu Mini in white, which is very, very cool. Uh, let's just see what else is in here. USB-C cable. Oh, they give you a give you a card reader. USB two though, it's a bit bit slow. Uh, you get a screen protector here, and then you get those um, wipes, which uh, come with every <laughs> every one of these devices. So let's um, let's just put all that back in the box, and then. Let's see what games come on this uh, this machine. Let's put that over here. So let's check it out. Install the SD card. Oh, it has like a, okay. So they put a bit of plastic on it, which is quite quite nice of them. Uh, oh, I like that blue. That blue on the back is quite cool as well. So the the plastic is actually quite interesting. The, uh, the texture, so the texture is kind of a bit more grippier than a uh, than an Ambernic or something, or than a uh, than the other consoles or the other consoles that I've tried before. Uh, it is quite small. It is uh, living up to its name as being mini. Let's just put that SD card in. So it's just an unbranded SD card. Nothing, nothing crazy here. They didn't give you a Toshiba or whatever. So the SD card slot is down here. Let's just put that in. Uh, okay, it doesn't fit in that way. It fits in with the numbers down. Let's see what games they put on. Uh, okay, uh, let's just have a quick tour anyway. So the power button is here. There's some LED lights here. Uh, the volume up and down is here. R1, R2, L2, and L. Battery compartment. So let's... Uh, oh, that one's quite sturdy, isn't it? So it's quite... Uh, it takes a bit of force to, to pull that out. Uh, the battery's here, 3000 milliamps. Yeah, it's very cool. Uh, I'll, I'll take that out later. Uh, let's just put the cover back on. Uh, you've got your ABXY buttons. Select and start. Menu button. Everything uh, looks good. I hope it's charged, so let's see if it powers on okay. Yeah, we've got a light. Mew Linux games. Uh, the white does look really good. The white looks really cool. Oh, so we've got some menu music. Oh, it's on maximum brightness, but doesn't doesn't sound that loud actually. Uh, okay. Uh, so I think if you've used the Miu before, uh, you probably be familiar with this, but um, I haven't. So this is my my first Miu device actually. So I, uh, it's going to be interesting to. Go around. Okay, so let's start up again, maybe. And we've got all of these emulators here. 
Let's check the arcade. Oh. Okay, so they got some box art in with the uh, with here. Wow. Okay, this is pretty interesting. All right, let's try. Um, let's try all of the. Uh, let's try PS One first, and let's go down and see what they've included in with the with the sixty four gig card. So Castlevania Symphony Night, Tekken Three, Resident Evil Three, Crash Bash One. I don't know what that is. That's probably Crash Bandicoot 1. Uh, 2 and 3. Dino Crisis 2. Contra. Silent Hill. Bomberman World. So these these ROMs seem... Uh, they seem a bit random. because Some of them have got numbers. Some of them in lower class. Some of them are spelt wrong. Uh, let's check this stuff out. Okay. Gran Turismo. Harry Potter. Uh, Resident Evil 1. Sukuden. Okay, Twisted Metal, 2 and 4. Uh, yeah, these ROMs seem everywhere. So you've got 53 PS1 games, but which is not bad, but um, they seem to have just randomly <laughs> shotgun blasted you with uh, some PS1 games, which is a bit a bit strange. So that's what's on the PS1 side. Let's, uh, I'll do some more videos uh, showing what other uh, games are on this, I think, for each system, so you know what you're going to get when you buy the Mio Mini. Uh, but for now, let's just go straight into a game. Let's try Tekken 3, I think, because that's a good uh, a good test to see if everything's working okay. Um, okay, it takes a little bit of time to load up. Booting up. Yeah, the white does look really good, actually. Looks really nice. Quite impressed with that. Okay, it's a Japanese version of Tekken 3, it looks like, they give you. Uh, I've got the sound on max. And the, the brightness, I think, is on max as well. Let's get straight into it. So, yeah, I got the speakers on full just so you can get a good idea how much is, how uh, loud it sounds, how loud it gets. Okay, my first impressions of the the D-pad is the D-pad's quite shallow, actually, compared to some other the consoles. So it doesn't go down much. This is playing at a good full speed, though. Yep, looks good. Okay, let's let's try something else now. Uh, oh, so the, you get a nice pop-up menu uh, in the Miu style when you press the menu button. I'm just going to exit the game here. Let's see how long it takes to get back to the menu. Okay, it's pretty quick. Uh, and we'll try a uh, a different game now. Uh, where's Super Nintendo? Uh, SFC, yeah, so Super Famicom. Let's try... Uh, Let's have a look. Oh, so they've got quite a lot of games here. 1,498 games for Super Nintendo here. So that's a ton. And they are sorted by this weird number, uh, which is a bit annoying. Oh, okay. So you can use the these buttons as well, the L and R triggers to page up and page down through, the, through all of the games. Uh, let's just try and find Super Mario uh, World. Hopefully it's there. So there is a ton of games on here. One, that's that's a crazy amount of games, actually. Oh, there, I just skip past the Mario's. Uh, Super Metroid. Oh, no, okay. So let's go right. Oh, 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 okay. So if you press right here, you'll get you'll get some information about it. But some of these they don't have box art. It looks like. Uh, let's just try and... Oh, okay, so if you go out of the menu, it also saves your place as well, which is pretty interesting. Uh, let's just try and find uh, something else then. Uh, this music is kind of like Nintendo style, isn't it? Let's 
kind of funny. Okay. Oh, actually, yeah, this console probably doesn't have any Mario games because they don't usually put them on, don't they? Okay, that's fair enough. Let's try Donkey Kong Country 1 then. Oh, started quite quickly. So yeah, the console is quite nice. Yeah, I really like that white. The screen's looking sharp as well. Try and get through this, get through this level. Not get killed. <laughs> oh, this guy! This guy always kills me. I always seem to lose a, I always lose a life on that. Let's get the the rhino. Secret. Nice. Yeah, I'm really impressed with this. It's a uh Really nice finish on the casing. The sound is quite good. It's quite gets quite loud. Screen is nice, nice quality. Uh, buttons are quite buttons are alright. Buttons are good. I'm used to Ambernic, I must admit. So the the buttons are a little bit smaller than than an Ambernic D-pad, and uh, but the buttons do feel quite good. They're a bit more uh, glossy than Ambernic as well, but um, I do like it. The software seems very good because uh, I like it how we can just quickly jump out and jump in um, re reasonably quickly. Uh, let's just try one more game and then uh, we'll call this a we'll call this a video. Let's try an arcade game. Uh, maybe something a bit more interesting. Uh, oh, Granage, they have that one. Okay. Uh, oh, let's try Metal Slug actually. That's an arc that's a classic arcade game which I like playing. Do they have it? Metal slug? Metal black. Oh no metal slug. Oh that's okay, so maybe they don't have metal uh oh uh Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Metal Slug X. Uh one of my all time favorite arcade games. Takes a while to boot up, but it should be okay. Okay.
Okay, it's all good. So that, that was that game was a little bit slow to load, I must admit. But um, yeah, this this machine is uh, really nice, really nice. Um, my first impressions is yeah, I'll, I'll recommend this if you, especially if it's your first uh, first device of this kind. Um, seems very simple to navigate. Seems fast. Um, plays a lot of good uh, good games. So this is these are the systems that you have: arcade, Famicom, FF Play. I guess is a, a movie player, Game Boy. Uh, Game Boy Advance, Arcade with Mem, Mega Drive, Neo Geo, Neo Geo Pocket, uh, Open Beats of Rage, PC Engine, PlayStation 1, uh, Nintendo, Super Famicom, uh, Sega Master System, Shoot, I don't know what that is, uh, Wonder Swan Color, what's Shoot? Oh, I think Shooters, this is like vertical, I think, vertical shooters. Um, so that's why it comes out of the box with the 64 gigabyte card down here. And um, yeah, very impressive. So um, I'll come up with some more videos on this one, I think, uh, because it's a very hot product. But for now, here's my, uh, this was my unboxing and initial impressions of the Miu Mini Plus uh, in white. Uh, I got mine from AliExpress, ordered it on the kind of the first day. It took about uh, eight or nine days to get here. So um, reasonably fast delivery. And um, yeah, I'll be coming out with more videos on this soon. Thanks for watching.